now we will see second attack of cross site scripting that is phishing through cross site scripting see so it's advanced phishing okay so let's try on this side advanced phishing see i got to know let's example for this website now uh, test php.vulnweb.com so i got to know that this the p, p parameter is vulnerable so if you will do script alert 1 slash script on the p, p parameter see this if you will do this on the p parameters it will give you the pop up the alert of one because you are doing you are executing a script alert one there that's why now see this see instead of this script alert one what if i'll give something like this iframe iframe means embed something what i what you want to embed you will decide later first iframe track close now just give source of any other website. Let's give my website. See this? On where? On the P parameters. So let's let's call, let's copy this now. So P parameter is vulnerable. So instead of P value, I'll give this now. See. No. So this is your final. Let's copy this now. Let's open this. What happened? So they are embedding hackerser.com into web page. Now, what if I will give the height and width of that? So embedding, so height equal to 100% and the width equal to 100%. Let's click on execute. We got. It's completely overlap on the web screen. So see this? This can be very dangerous uh, for a web application because yes the people will get confused where it's visiting and where it's entering the cred credentials so i hope it's clear to you you just have to give height equal to 100 percent and the width equal to 100 percent